Turkey's deputy prime minister recently had some interesting things to say about the Turks, uh, saying that they had, quote, abandoned their values and uh, is pleading with people to rediscover the Koran. Uh, but then he made some interesting comments about women. Chastity is so important. It is not only a name, it is an ornament for both women and men. She will have chasteness. Man will have it too. He will not be a womanizer. He will be bound to his wife. He will love his children. The woman will know what is haram and what is not haram. She will not laugh in public. She will not be inviting in her attitudes and will protect her chasteness. Now, the reason I thought this was kind of interesting is because Turkey's sort of in between worlds right now where they're very secular, and that seems to be where most Turks want to go, and they have a prime minister who's uh, going more in the other direction. Um, but I thought that quote was really interesting too because he's sort of saying, you know, a man has to kind of step up and do the right thing, but then it veers into women shouldn't laugh. Um, women are allowed to laugh, are they not, Malcolm? Uh, I don't know, this guy doesn't seem like a barrel of laughs. <laughs> That's, uh, that reads like the worst Match.com profile ever. Can you imagine you know, like what he's looking for? Not gonna happen. No, no, but uh, you know what? Turn on chastity. Um, yeah. If we need to keep the, uh, the women of Turkey not laughing in public, Jay Leno is available. You can <laughs> send him true. over. That's true. No, no, no. Th yeah, this guy sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, it, uh, it sounds like um, we need to send Cenk Uger over there to, uh, to instill a little, uh, little, more, little more agnosticism and, uh, and uh, fun in well, the, the Turkish state. He left and everything goes to pot. You know what, speaking of the power of Cenk Uger, he went to Turkey a couple weeks ago while Turkey had YouTube shut down mm. by their prime minister. By the time Cenk left, Tur uh, YouTube was back up. So I'm just saying that he can do something. Well, they're also huge Jenna Marbles fans, so <laughs> that, you know. Uh, yeah. I think there's just one correction in the quote. When yes. he said chastity is is important, yeah. what he means is suppressing half of the population is important. Yeah. I mean, what does this have anything else to do with? You know, you can you can only hide behind religion so much until it gets so ridiculous that people are going to go, shut up. You, you don't even nothing you say makes any sense. Yeah. I, I laugh like Ethel Merman. I would they'd lock me away and throw you, away the key. I wouldn't. You have a great laugh. Thank you'd you very a, much. Yeah, you would be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> If you says something funny, you're going to hear I, it. Yeah, well, you're going to have uh, to. That's going to be uh, <laughs> not today. Um, but I mean, when does this? When when do we stop taking these things seriously? Yeah, so that's partly. So I almost didn't do this story because we hear about these things all the time. And look, we talk about Saudi Arabia all the time, which is our great ally in the uh, Gulf, where women can't drive nor vote. Uh, our they great are oily ally. Right, they are actually allowed to be going to be allowed to uh, vote sooner than they can drive. So they just won't be able to drive to the polling stations. Um, but. Do we have any right to tell any country what to do when it comes to any of this stuff? Well, in his defense, the women drivers thing I'm kind of on board with. I gotta be <laughs> honest. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> he thought he was gonna get the laugh there. Instead, he got a... He got face. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because you know when you talk about morality and like this is, I assume it's just a distraction. This guy is trying to distract from the other problems of corruption and that his that their government is accused of. And it seems like it's the it's a fallback position. It's something that they can go to quickly and distract. Yeah. Much like mm -hmm. if you're Saudi Arabia and you want to talk, you want to distract people from your own problems and don't want to get people to talk about how women can't drive. You're like those Israelis, those sons of bitches, those Jews, how they treat the Palestinians. Wiley now don't, yeah. but ignore the way we treat the Filipinos who come here to build our stadiums and so on and so forth. But yeah. uh, so, what was your question? So I think you answered whatever my question was. I you think answered you answered. Oh, uh, do we, do we have a right? Do, yeah, yeah, do we have a right? Because you know we we do all these things with these countries. Turkey obviously is an ally of ours. Saudi Arabia is an ally of ours, for better or worse. So do we have? Why, why, maybe do we need tiered allies? Like you're in the A group, you know what I mean? Yes. Canada. I think we do. Yes. Well, we do, you know. but maybe we need Publicly. to say it more. Should we be say? Because the women thing, like this is half the world, isn't yeah. it? More than half the world. More. There are more women the than men. The question is when we criticize a country like Turkey, yeah. and we make fun and we ridicule this guy, which we he rightfully deserves ridicule. Yeah. But doesn't that empower him to say, you know, those you uh, the, the U.S. the the, the you know we the evil Americans yeah. are criticizing our culture, and it feeds into what he's trying to accomplish. And actually does him a favor. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a tough call because so that's why you how are you not going to ridicule this yeah, guy? Yeah, keep your yaps shut. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I don't know, I can't get on board with that. I mean, and that's the thing. It's like, should we go and invade them over this? Right. No, right. we can't and we shouldn't. Right. But when it, it comes to terms of, you know, like you said, being an ally, doing business, how do you, how do, you do this and feel good about yourself as a government when 
these other governments are so oppressive. You know, it's like, well, it's not my mom, it's not my sister, it's not my wife. Well, it's somebody else's. And if she's into it, she's been brainwashed. I mean, that's all there is to it.